My name is Misael Lopez, and I box out of the Denver Boxing Academy. Got me in a fight, and uh, I grew up in a neighborhood, you know, Five Points, Denver. It was a little difficult, you know, going to school with a, a lot of kids around, a lot of gang members, and, you know, family members being in that type of uh, environment. So, you know, I had to learn to defend myself. My father said, hey, let's get you in there. You know, sooner or later, you're going to have to know, know how to defend yourself well, use your hands. So, you know, uh, I stepped in there for that reason. But then once I was in there, I loved it, man. I fell in love with the sport within, you know, the first week or two, and I just stuck with it ever since, man. So I work from about 7 to 3.30. I go home for about an hour and head out to the gym, you know, get get home kind of late. I have a 10 month old at home, so it gets, a, it gets a little hard. You know, you want to spend time with the little guy and, with, and the wife, but you know, it's the sacrifice that comes with being in this sport and, and I'm willing to go through it as long as I need to, you know, and, uh, until I become world champion. So I feel like I have a very strong team, you know, and it'll be strap season, so we'll get our, we'll get our world title and that's my ultimate goal right now, man. Most memorable fight was probably had to be against Ricky Rodriguez so far. You know, my last one was really fun. You know, I got a, I got a fourth round stoppage and, and the dude came out of fight, but I think that was a big one for me personally because I knew I was stepping in with a really good fighter, you know, and, and he came to fight and I was able to, to you know, uh, uh, work my way in and find find what his weaknesses were and, and control the fight. So I feel like that was a big, uh, a really big fight for us. So every day training here in uh, Sam Boxing Academy, Get in here, you know, everybody usually comes around, says what's up, you know, raps a little with each other, talks about their days and stuff. Then we go straight into warm up, man. We start our shadow boxing and stuff like that, rope and stretches, and then go straight into our back work and mid work and stuff like that. Finish with some strong exercises, man. We'll get into our abs, you know, and, and push ups and, and resistant workouts. And it's, it's a really, really a professional kind of camp in here, man. You get, you get some really good stuff in here. You know, I've always been really good on my feet. My footwork's always been good, but lately I've been moving more into the power punching uh, part of it, you know. So I've been really learning to stay, you know, uh, put my feet down, you know, really well and sit on my punches. And I think that's been a really big, uh, big turnaround for me. And I've really been stepping up on that. And I think that's been the biggest, biggest difference so far in my training camp. One thing I really like to do is, you know, thank the people who've been there with me the whole, the whole ride. You know, I've been with my coaches uh, since, since I started. You know, since back in the day when I was about 10, 11 years old. You know, so. I gotta thank them for sticking with me the whole time. I gotta say, everybody, you know, watch out. You know, I'm really coming strong. You know, my team is is doing everything they can to get me to be world champion. Don't sleep on us, man. We're coming hard, and we're gonna get there.